So just to give you a little bit of an idea about the project and about the craft that I'm going to be doing this journey on, um, obviously a lot of people don't really have a concept of what wing foiling is. So wing foiling is on a small little board holding a wing which almost looks like a kite, um, combination between a windsurf sail and a kite um, that has a strut in the middle that I'll hold. Um, I'm using a, my little craft which uh, called the MP Fish, which I did the transatlantic on. We're making a whole lot of uh, massive changes on all everything I learned from the last adventure um, and we're stripping it down changing the deck lifting the deck slightly changing the, the inside walls building the side walls up adding on special foils I've been very fortunate to have Armstrong come on board um, who the, the the company that I'm actually sponsored by for all my hydrofoils uh, for prone foiling and for wing foiling and they're building specialized wings for me and they're also building specialized foils that are going to drop down like um, center boards, almost like down the side to be able to um, reduce the wetted surface um, so the craft goes faster. I think a lot of people think the craft's going to be completely um, hydrofoiling, but um, in open ocean that doesn't actually work. Um, I know people think, oh, the America's Cup stuff, but they're doing it in a controlled environment um, on really flat water. Um, open ocean it really doesn't work it's not that simple that's why even the Vendee Globe um, 65 foot markers don't fully foil all the time it's just um, they just reduce the wetted surface of the craft in the water which means that when you reduce the wetted surface you reduce the drag um, which increases the speed and also if you reduce the wetted surface slightly you also can create a little bit more stability so the objective is to reduce wetted surface um, increase speed increase stability um, because I'm standing and the craft is so small um, and use the wings to to um, pile me across the Pacific um, I, I'm leaving from a place that I know which I've got a lot of history and, and um, a great story from so I've got lots of friends and family here with Mavericks and Jeff Clark and and my fiance that's based here so uh, um, I love this community and I love the location and leaving from here is a pretty special thing for me and then obviously going over all the way through to Hawaii to finish in Oahu, uh, Honolulu would be incredible and finishing in Diamond Head where I've done the, the, the Molokai race, which has obviously got a lot of history and heritage. And then the, the voyaging community and, and society, which taps into all the stuff that I've learned from the sailing and navigation side. So my little craft is six meters long, which is, um, which is very, very small. Uh, the little console in the front is tiny. And um, yeah, we just upgraded every single system from everything I've learned. The, all the, the, the entire electrics has been um, pulled out and re redone um, to be able to make it safer. Generally, you can't use the same sort of systems um, after five years, especially when the craft's been out and has been used. So from a safety aspect, we're just looking at all the different areas from a safety perspective of how I can make it um, safer, uh, more efficient, um, make sure i'm completely powered by nature so um, improving on the solar and the solar systems and solar panels used um, improving on the battery banks and changing everything to lithium um, battery banks which makes it lighter and um, they hold more charge and then you can run them down more um, a hydro a hydro charger a hydro vane a wing vane a um, the hydraulic system with machine learning autopilot system so it's it's not reactive it's actually proactive it can preempt the way the craft's moving and adjust for it while while I'm going, and then the wind vane is a, a all natural system. So if any of the electronics fail, I can switch over to that and I can still steer by by the wind. And then a hydro charger, which is a system you put into the water, um, that that is looks like a a propeller, um, but it actually is is turned the other way around. So it actually spins um, when you're going through the water more than three knots, and that generates. Um, charge that charges the battery banks from that so pretty incredible I've learned some incredible um, tools and tips um, from my last project which I'm super excited to implement um, and I, I think even more so just um, the advancement of the SAC communication system that I'm going to be able to actually do up, updates and what have you and sort of live interviews um, with classrooms and schools and, and education um, all over the world during this journey um, looking at hopefully being able to do about 180 to 100 miles a day um, and hopefully complete the journey which should be about between 2,800 and 3,000 miles in hopefully about 50 days, 50 to 55 days. We'll see how it goes, it all depends on the wind, it depends on um, the conditions, it depends on how my craft um, 
works with the, with the setup that I'm creating. Um, it's like uh, most of the stuff that I've done, it's never been done before. So I'm super excited about it. Super, um, super inspired about like how much it's going to give back, how much it's going to help and, um, you know, inspire people also through a really difficult time. I think we've all been going through an incredibly challenging time and we all need hope. We all need courage. We all need inspiration. And, um, Hopefully this journey will help most people realize that we can do more, be more, we can give back, we can help others and um, we can also help be an example to help change the world in a positive way. And this project also uh, ties into some six of the 17 SDGs to, to help change the world. And I'm really stoked to be an ambassador for Conservation International and um, helping with climate action, climate change and um, bring awareness to a lot of the uh, ocean health issues we have around the world. So join me on this journey. Super stoked to have you on board. I'm going to do a couple other videos that will give you more information with the questions and queries that everybody asks um, um, as soon as we launch a campaign. So thanks very much for having me involved.